So today I'm doing something that I don't want to do, but I kind of have to do. And I thought we'd make a video about it and try to have some fun with it anyway. Uh, to start out with, I don't condone the destruction of firearms for pretty much any purpose whatsoever. But if you do want yours taken off your hands, I absolutely can help you out. I do charge $10,000 per item for the service. Uh, but for a limited time, I'll give it to you for $99.99.98 and you guys can keep your two cents. So whenever there's a shooting in this country, especially when it coincides with the political ambitions of a certain group, there's always this renewed push for crazy gun control. And the simple fact is that uh, people who subscribe to that line of thinking just uni have not uniformly applied the logic of the situation. The statistics are in on that. Uh, we're not gonna beat that horse to death any further, but I'm sure that there will be some crazy activists out there uh, cutting up their guns on the internet and I thought we'd beat them to the punch today since I have to destroy something anyway. Alrighty guys, well here we go. This is the lower receiver and it's originally a ballistic advantage enhanced lower receiver, but uh, as you can see, I practiced engraving on it and I had actually used this as a template to set up my engraving machine. So here's the first attempt. Okay, and you can see that that went super well. It was one of those situations where I put it in the machine and one of those things that you shouldn't just fire and forget. Well, I set it up and left. And as you can see, this is what it came out with. Uh, the subsequent attempts got a lot better, but because it's ambiguous and ugly, I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy this thing. So uh, we're gonna actually use both methods that the ATF suggests, which is removing a quarter inch and multiple cuts. And I'm actually gonna save a few of these pieces here that are kind of testaments to the failure. You don't learn anything if you don't fail. And this is one of my failures. So we're gonna go ahead and save this section here, here. And uh, we'll probably just melt that side down, but I'm gonna keep the ballistic advantage spade here. And then we're gonna take the rest of it, melt it into a puddle and sink those pieces down inside of it and make myself a paperweight. Acetylene burns with a luminous flame. So to start out with, make sure we abide by all the regulations here. And we're gonna go ahead and go through a mounting hardware hole here. <laughs> you could almost do this without off. It's amazing how that just kind of disintegrates. So we'll take it uh, right here at the front too. It's going to be a little bit thick. Uh, we'll go out the front here. Yeah, check that out guys. It just melts without really even needing ox. So we're going to again try to make a puddle here. So. I think that constitutes a uh, quarter inch. What do you guys think? There you go. <laughs> so, I also want to keep the spade. So we'll go ahead and uh, start out by just cutting this right like this. probably do this right here I'm gonna have to stand it up we'll go right 
is there. It needs to be preheated. Aluminum is an excellent heat sink. This video sped up quite a bit, but I thought while I have you here, we could talk about the most recent shootings. Everyone is looking for a solution to this problem. And with any problem, there are four types of interventions we as a society can enact in response. Band-aids, stitches, surgery, and counterproductive medical intercession. You know, the things like we did in the Dark Ages, bloodletting because people had too much blood in their system, poking holes in people's skulls to let the demons out, and of course, your daily dose of Eye of Newt potion. That's your gun control right there. So asinine stupid, and demonstrated throughout history to be dangerous in the long term, only the ignorant and the evil would propose them. Band-Aids, like the lowest level of intervention that you can put into something, make yourself feel good about helping. In practice, Band-Aids shield minor wounds from dirt and grime so they don't get infected. This is your thoughts and prayers and social media closed group bickering, etc. I'm not saying that you shouldn't bandage a wound, but you ought to fix the underlying issues too. Major surgery is a tough one. You just can't go in and start cutting. You have to actually know what needs to be fixed. Semi-automatic technology has existed for over 150 years. That hasn't changed. What has changed is the people, not the technology. In fact, most of the time, when firearms are absent, those that would do harm at any cost resort to deadlier, improvised means of destruction. The bottom line is we created the problem, all of us, or we stood by and watched it happen. We took God out of society. Whether you believe in him or not is irrelevant, but the fact of the matter is that the foundation of Western society and our system of laws relies on an underlying moral ethical code. We have degraded that foundation to a level that it no longer functions. We don't invest in each other anymore, and we would rather bitch at each other on Facebook rather than say, hey, Jimmy is having an issue, Maybe I ought to take the initiative, put my own interests down for a second, and pay attention. Simultaneously, the powers that be silence the ideas of people who point out the truth related to the issues in the name of political correctness. If you want a video that really digs into the heart of these issues, Brendan Herrera published a video yesterday that touches on the issues. I have it linked down below. It's quite good. I suggest that you go see it, of course, after you finish watching this video. With any surgery, we need to make sure that it is an appropriate response and that it does not induce more long-term damage than is necessary. If your foot is mangled in an auto accident, and the doctor says that he wants to take it off at the hip because it'll be a cleaner cut, you should probably go get a second opinion. There are two types of bad doctors. On one hand, we have the dudes like Kevorkian that know what they're doing is wrong, but do it to satisfy their own twisted desires. Insert leftist people controller here. And then on the other hand, we have the ones that want to help, but don't have the proper aptitude. In this instance, we have people like Donald Trump and Dan Crenshaw that I believe actually want to help, but don't have the principles to guide them. Infringing on people's rights by installing unconstitutional measures that disregard due process, all for the purpose of feeling good about it, is not a long-term solution. It's something that history tells us will be used by a tyrant down the line to inflict more damage. Thus far, the track record of so-called red flag laws has already been demonstrated to result in death at the hands of the government. We don't need any more of that unconstitutional usurpation of power. No matter what course we take, there needs to be stitches. Something that can hold it all together while it heals. There are two types of healing, primary and secondary intention. Primary intention is when two pieces of flesh are knitted back together. Secondary takes much longer and is the process by which a wound fills with new tissue. In this instance, I think we need a little bit of both. It took over 40 years to fix the serial killer epidemic in this country. Ultimately, it took government and private sector innovation to make serial killers like Jeffrey Dahmer nearly impossible. Law enforcement catches them sooner before they can perpetrate the crime to its fullest potential, and simultaneously, technologies like GPS and video surveillance make detection a near certainty. 
It took 100 years for the progressive movement to degrade America to this point. We aren't going to fix it overnight. But there is one thing that you can do right now that will make a difference. Without fail, the way to stop a rampaging psychopath is with immediate, insurmountable return force. You want to stop mass shootings? Make the possibility of their warped sense of success less possible. Buy a gun. Get training on how to use it. Carry it everywhere you go and hope that if you find yourself in that situation, that you have the balls to use it. To our leaders, repeal unconstitutional restrictions on the citizenry and open up the floodgates on these murderers. Simultaneously, harden soft targets and start the dialogue on how to bring law enforcement up to speed so that we the people can work side by side with them in curbing this problem. Right now, you are standing in the way saying, I'm helping, stop it. Remember, you govern at the consent of the people. You only have the power to direct the path of the country. It's up to the people to rise to the occasion. We have done it before in states of the national crisis and we will do it this time. Again, do the right thing. Don't try to micromanage a macro problem. You should be focusing our resources on government problems. Fixing families, psychotropic drug abuse, and other underlying issues driving marginalized beta males to go postal. Stay in your lane. This is not something that you can just legislate away. To everyone, right now the next mass murderer is plotting their attack. We need to focus on solutions with evidence of success, not theorize and experiment with ideas that have been proven in the past to fall short and lead to broad-reaching unintended consequences. All right, off my soapbox, back to the lower receiver. Uh, I had some issues melting this thing, and I think what's going on is that the phosphate layer the parkerizing is actually interfering with the melding. So what I did is actually pile up the components that I wanted to kind of be part of the casting and then scrape some of that away by using the ox blast and then dripping it into a puddle and then kind of pushing it all together. The original one was just kind of weak and brittle. This one is much better and this is what it looks like all said and done. Not the type of destructive testing that I enjoy doing. Usually I prefer them fully assembled uh, with rounds going down the pipe until they melt into a puddle. But unfortunately, to play the game, you have to play by the rules sometimes.